Okay, YouTube people, Facebook family, I'm in all my social networkers. I'm like tripping, man. I'm serious. Okay, is it, is it me or am I crazy or what? I mean, I, 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 I just can't understand this. All right, now, I just got finished making a video called Listening. But in the video, I did mention that I was going to talk about comprehension. Okay, I need to think about that because... First of all, it's like when you say people say, "Well, I can't comprehend that. I can't understand." You know, comprehension, understanding, whatever you have it. The reason why I just got finished looking at something on YouTube, uh, well, not YouTube, it's on the Yahoo, and it says they are rich and famous and they are in for foreclosure. Okay, I'm looking at this thing. And it's like celebrities are at a point where they're bankrupt or they've got. Their, their, their homes are they're going to take their homes away from them because they're not paying any, well, either property taxes or they're not paying their bills or something like that I'm, I'm really I'm, I'm like I can't comprehend that I, mean, I can't understand why if you got money you can't pay your bills I'm having a hard time I don't even have any money and I can't pay the bills I, I'm, I can't even pay the bills that I, I I'm making more problems the more money that I don't even have it's like the more problems I see all right, like I said, and I, I just can't understand this. This is about comprehension, okay? People, when you owe people money or you have to pay a bill, the thing what you need to do is pay them. You know, you can't say you keep putting it off, or I'll pay you later, or, I'm going to get it when I get it. Uh, you know, if you got it, get it and pay it off. I mean, that's all I'm saying. You can't just keep letting it go on and on and then one day you owe them and then you can't pay them and then all of a sudden you're wondering like, well, why are your um, property getting taken away from you? Things like that. Because you get to that point where you feel like you can just go through life and just do things and do whatever you want and you can't do that. All right. Now, getting back to my ex-girlfriend. All right. My ex-girlfriend, quote unquote, is like the one who's like making all this possible because like I said, and comprehension, she can't comprehend and don't understand that it's, when it gets to a point in life, it's time to let go. You know, let it go and move on. All right. The only reason why we ain't, we are not together, is because of what finances. All right. It ain't got nothing to do with love and all this other stuff. You know, people. When you don't have any money, don't nobody want to be around you. Anyway. Don't nobody want to hang. You can't hang. They don't want to be with you. That ain't hard to comprehend. See, this is why I'm breaking this down, okay? What's the sense of having money and you can't spend it? I mean, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Why even have it? You know, you can't do anything with it. You can't just keep it in the bank and hold it and hope that it collects interest and everything like that. Because, like, think about this. As long as it's sitting up in there and you're not utilizing it, somebody else is taking it at another time and point that they using your money and investing in something and hopefully that the return will come back and you get interest on that money. I mean, I'm not stupid. I understand about that stuff. The banks, hey, they like going to the, uh, the casino. They take a chance on your money, all right? They got a certain amount of money that they can use and stuff like they call, like, you know, CDs and IRAs and all this other stuff, and they take the money and they try to invest in it, and then they tell you one day, Wow, you know, your money has increased and grown and stuff like that. But when they lose money, do you ever wonder how come your money seems like it doesn't, like, amount to anything? It's like I said, sometimes you even wind up owing or you're paying some extra fees and stuff like that that you realize, like I said, wait a minute, I wasn't paying this before and everything like that. Oh, well, you know, you got to start paying money and, and stuff. And they say they gave you free checking and all this other stuff in the beginning. And then they, all of a sudden, now you're paying for uh, services that, uh, that you didn't even know that you were paying for. And I thought that's what the reason why you go into the bank and get that free checking anyway. Okay. But then, do you understand? That's what I'm saying. Comprehension. Can you understand what has happened? Okay. The bank is a business. The bank has to take your money when you don't do anything with it while it's sitting up in there collecting, so-called collecting interest. And they use it to invest in things, and then hopefully that the turnover will get you money back and everything like that, or even increase your, your interest and stuff like that. Okay, so we already know about banking, what that's for. Okay, 
they like try to use your money to make more money and then they get theirs out of it somehow I don't know but anyway that's what I'm talking about comprehension but can you understand this is another form of comprehension if you're rich how can you wind up being in foreclosure how do you not pay your your bills see first of all most of them people that got like two properties realize how in the hell are you going to live in two places you can only live in one place at one time and most of the time you're not even there because you're out working and you're doing uh, stuff and doing things you are you don't have time to even be at home so how is the property being foreclosed because you're not paying the taxes or paying the bills in, in places that you're not staying see that's the thing about it when you get money you get rich you get to a point where you get too rich that you are taking care of your business I'm not talking about the stars alone people just like got like uh, businesses and people that are well, I mean, I'm talking about billionaires and, and people that got all this stuff I mean okay first of all see that's the thing about it like you are untouchable like you can't get to the point where see the only thing you have to worry about is that taxes and the government being able to they can take stuff from you and you can't do nothing about it you know I don't care how much money you got in the world you got all these lawyers and stuff like that and Warren Buffett that told you little secrets about doing things and having the way of wealth and stuff. I mean, I don't know. Are you wonder if Warren Buffett is in, in foreclosure or something like that? Or what, who, who is Warren Buffett anyway? I mean, a man, just a man, I mean, he, he, he's got information about financial stuff and he's a genius, a uh, financial guru about how to invest money and everything like that. But I mean, come on now. Excuse me. Warren Buffett is no longer then well he's white I'm not I'm not, like he's flesh and blood he's got skin but like I said he breathes just like you do he eats he sleeps he does everything that you do but what makes him an authority what makes Warren Buffett like the the uh, person that can tell the world how financially we're messed up okay do you put people on I mean you let people get to that point and do things like that. Comprehension, people, comprehend this. Understand. Listen to what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not talking crap or nothing like that. I'm just saying, you know, we put people in positions, we give them responsibilities, and they got to be responsible. They got to tell you something that you already know. Okay? I can't understand that. And then you got people that's struggling, like me, for instance, that don't have a job, that's trying to get somewhere in life and trying to do something, you know, like I said, hey. I can't get nowhere in life because I'm nobody. But you let somebody like Warren Buffett or uh, Barron, somebody who uh, is in charge and stuff, Forbes or all those people tell you something, you believe it, you know? Don't nobody need to tell you that. You don't have any, look at it, I'm going to show you this. When you broke, notice this. Does anybody have to tell you there's nothing in my wallet? Okay, no money, no cash. Who do you need? professionally to tell you that you broke tell you that you ain't got no money all right you need somebody like a financial guru or somebody that's been in the business for years to tell you that you don't have any money okay comprehension people understand this like I said I'm gonna let it go cuz I mean I'm tripping because I got more things to talk about now, comprehension don't only just go with the money it also goes with understanding our purpose and reason in life. Okay? It's to help each other. To help each other understand that this is ain't how, how things are supposed to be. You know, but we don't know that. Now, how much more do I need to go through to get an understanding of what comprehension is? Because a lot of people, we don't understand it. We don't get things right away. We need somebody to help us through. Okay? Comprehension understand okay it's not that far of a gap in between that see a lot of us we can't figure out that that's just the same thing it's understanding knowing what is, is to get out of it all right so I'm going to leave this one this one might be kind of like not the way I wanted to put it but I just like to say that I can't comprehend what's going on in the world today because see a lot of things that don't make sense really do what some of us just don't understand 
Alright, Facebook people, YouTube family, uh, all my social networkers, that's all I just have to say. I'm, I'm getting that one out. Okay? Love y'all, but I got to go. Peace out.